Hi everyone, it's Andy. Welcome to another video. So uh, if you watch my channel, thank you. Uh, you would have noticed I didn't do a week 39 roundup. I completely ran out of time this week to do anything, but tomorrow's Thursday, I get weighed in, so I'll do a week 39 stroke 40 after my weigh-in tomorrow. But I really wanted to make this video because I think it's really, really important. Uh, I wanted to address my thoughts on the program that we probably all watched last night on Channel 4, uh, Super Slimmers, about the people that have lost vast amounts of weight and put it back on. I'm really angry about the program and the context of the program. You know, how can Channel 4 think it's okay to make a program like that? And this morning, I've, I've been really disheartened by the reaction to that program. I've been on social media, in Facebook groups uh, for Slimming World and, and weight loss and stuff, and I've seen so many people that their attitude now is I may as well give up because no matter what I do, biologically, I'm going to put the weight back on. And, and it's disheartening to see that, that there's this, you know, whether it's people looking for another excuse to quit or whether it's people that now truly believe that no matter what they do, they're never going to lose weight. And that really, really upsets me. It disheartens me as a, as a human being that a program can in, induce that kind of thought process in, in other people that are struggling to lose weight. So my problems with the program is... They've taken a handful of people, one person on Slimming World, one person on Lighter Life, one person on Rosemary Connolly, one person who did it by training. Uh, you know, and, and, but what they didn't show is they didn't show how many thousands of people around the world have successfully lost weight and have successfully kept it off. There's a ton of people that have reached their target weight on Slimming World and have kept it off for a long, long time, but they don't show you that. They didn't show you, it doesn't matter if it's just Slimming World, if it's Rosemary Connolly, if it's Weight Watchers, if it's Herbal Life, if it's Clean Nine, no matter what it is, if people have managed to lose the weight and keep it off for a long time, you should also show that side. But they just wanted to show the negative side of biologically you're going to gain the weight no matter what you do. And it's like, that's what made me angry about the program because, you know, now there's all these people that want to quit and, and that's wrong. That's wrong that a program would induce that in people that they want to quit. And... I just found that so disheartening this morning. There was no evidence in this program. They didn't show you how long they'd been doing this study for. They just dragged out a couple of experts that have obviously been doing some kind of biological research. Now, I'm not for one saying that biology doesn't play a part in weight gain. I can totally see where they're coming from. But surely you've got to put some kind of... Uh, evidence behind these claims that you're saying you know you've got to show what the studies you know were about how they did it where they were conducted when they were conducted how many people they were conducted on they, they've just literally just taken the people that have failed but my question then is let's look at slimming world because that's what we do so the girl on slimming world she lost a lot of weight and she put a lot of weight back on but there must have been something that's happened for that to happen. Maybe she's had some kind of trauma in her life. Maybe something's gone wrong. She's, you know, she's suffered loss or something. Something must have happened that's started her eating badly again. And this is the thing because it's really simple. I've, I've said it time and time again. It's really easy to get things in life, to get the things that you want, to get money, to get, you know, to, to get success in business, whatever it is you want to do. The key to true success is keeping it once you've got it. And that's the problem. You don't just lose weight and then think, that's it, my work's done, I'm good. And then go back to your normal eating habits because that's how you, how you will fail. Uh, I don't know whether you've seen it, Russell Kane uh, did a video about Slimming World and it's funny and but there's, there's a lot of swearing in but but search it uh, it's uh, Russell Kane Kane in slimming groups or something <coughs> but in amongst the humor and the, and the profanities there's actually some kind of like valid points he said if you're trying to quit smoking he said you don't stop smoking during the week and then at the end of the week go and have a lot of cigarettes because that kind of defeats the object you know another analogy if you if you're an alcoholic and you fought tooth and nail hammer and tongs with every fiber of your being to stop giving up drinking and it was tough and you made the sacrifices and you went through the pain and you walked through it and you come out the other side why would you then 
start to think it's alright to even have just the slightest amount of drink because before you know it you're back on it and you're an alcoholic again so if you lose a, a, a great amount of weight it's important to stay on plan you don't just lose a lot of weight with Slimming World or any plan and then think right I can go back to eating normally I, you know my, my metabolism's quicker I'm exercising a lot more that's not necessarily true so the minute you start thinking well it's all right to start going to have mcdonald's and kfc and takeaways and doing what i want and drinking eight pints at the weekend no if you start getting back into those habits guess what the old habits are going to reform and you're going to find yourself back where you started then something else comes along life comes and punches you in the face which is what life does life comes along every now and again and just slaps us around the side of the head to make sure that we're paying attention and those things are always going to happen and a lot of the time it's going to be out of our control and you know so there's got to be something I, I can't believe that there's nothing that's happened in that young lady's life that's caused her to put that that you know that weight back on because if you think about it logically I can't even speak that's how angry I am if you think about it logically if you started to creep on one stone, two stone, your clothes are going to start getting tighter, you know, things that used to fit aren't fitting so well anymore, you would think to yourself, I've got to stop. I've got to go back to what I know. And I know that I can do it because I've done it before. All you've got to do is stop yourself before you fall off the edge of the cliff. And, and surely, you know, I, I know, and, and I've been the biggest yo-yo dieter in the world. I've done all kinds of plans, and I've lost loads of weight, and then I've just started thinking to myself, that's it, I've cracked it now, I can start eating what I want. And when I started eating what I want and started not paying attention, I put all the weight back on. That's the reason. No other reason, I've just not kept to what I'm supposed to do. Even when I've done Slimming World in the past. So, I think they haven't showed the true reflection of the people that were on that show. Uh, they haven't showed what's happened in their lives that's led to them putting that weight back on. There's got to be a backstory. There must be a backstory. I can't just believe that those people could say, I've carried on eating the way I did to lose weight, and I've put four, five, six, seven, eight stone back on. I can't believe that for one second. But that was the image that this show was portraying, that these people have, have kept up a, a, a half healthy lifestyle and have suddenly plummeted back on all this weight. No, rubbish. That cannot happen. Something has happened. They Something's happened in their life. Something has gone wrong that's made that happen. And now the fact that everybody that's watched that program is now in the mindset of, you know, it can't happen for me. It can't happen for me. I may as well give in. I've seen comments today where people are literally saying, what's the point? I may as well give in. Whatever I do, I'm going to put the weight back on. What is the point? I may as well just eat everything. So, so what do we do now? Do we just turn into a nation of people that are just going to eat ourselves to death because we believe that it can't be done? There are so many people in the world that on whatever program it is that have lost weight, that have got to their target weight, and have stayed there and those are the people you need to focus on because you know I think it was 1954 Roger Bannister you know everyone believed that no one could run the four minute mile in you know less you know run a mile in less than four minutes then you know so everybody believed that was how it was so nobody tried because they thought well it can't be done and then Roger Bannister came along and he ran a mile in under four minutes and then after that, like 20, 30,000 people did it. What changed? Nothing. All that changed was Roger Bannister proved that it could be done. So now everybody else's belief system, everybody else's mindset also changed because they'd seen it can be done. So now inside they thought, well, it can be done. If he can do it, I can do it. We see a ton of people that have lost weight on Slimming World. There's thousands of inspirational stories out there of people that have lost weight, lost a lot of weight, and have kept it off. And that is the people you should be focusing on. Don't worry about a couple of like experts that are gonna tell you that it can't be done. It can be done. We've seen it can be done. We've seen the people that have done it. We know it can be done. All you need to do now is believe that it can be done for you. That's it. If you don't believe it, if you can't see it for you, you're never gonna do it. 
It doesn't matter what you what you read, what people say. People are never going to agree with you. People are always going to say to you, you can't do it. People are always going to say to you, this is not going to happen. That's not going to happen. It doesn't matter if you do this, this is going to be the outcome. This is life. People are always going to say to you that you can't. So what do you do? Do you just sit back and accept that? Do you say, well, these people say it, so it must be true. These people are experts. Experts aren't, let me tell you, experts aren't always right. How many times over the years have experts been proved wrong? Plenty of times. Even all of some, some of Einstein's theories weren't the greatest. He was disproved on, a, on, on loads of things. Didn't mean he was right all the time. Experts aren't always right. So now, we know it can be done. We've seen it can be done. Don't let one program, a couple of experts, derail you from your journey. You know it can be done. You just need to see it for yourself. Not everybody's going to see your vision for you. Not everybody's going to agree. People are always going to tell you that you can't. Three things now in the last week that I've said to myself on a daily basis, and I want you to say it to yourself, but you really need to say these things with conviction, like you mean it. If you don't say it with conviction, then it's pointless saying it. You need to say this to yourself in the morning, before you go to sleep, and at some point during the day. You can do it looking in a mirror, or you can just say it to yourself. Say to yourself, the number one thing you've got to say to yourself is, I can. Second thing, I will. And the third, it's possible. I can, I will, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible for everybody. Everybody can do this. But if you don't believe it's possible, you're never going to do it. You have to believe it's possible. If I, if I didn't wake up every day and believe that it's possible for me to lose 23 stone, I would have quit by now. I would have quit when I put one stone two on in five weeks. I'd have been done. I'd have been going back now to eating takeaways and I would have just given in. But you know why I didn't give in? Because I keep telling myself I can. I keep telling myself I will. I keep telling myself it's possible. It's as possible for me as it is for you. The next three things I tell myself, and this is the things to tell yourself when life's getting really difficult, when it's challenging, when you want to make bad decisions, tell yourself these three things. Do I really want it? Do I really need it? And is it worth it? And that's the key. Is it worth it? If you're going to go out, if you're going to get drunk, if you're going to eat something that you know you shouldn't, is it worth it? If you know <coughs> that the actions you're taking now, when you hit the scales, it's going to make a difference, probably a negative difference, ask yourself, is it worth it? I think to myself every day, no, it's not. A takeaway, a few beers, it's not worth it. You know what's worth it to me? Life. Do you know what's worth it to me? Not getting sick anymore. Do you know what's worth it to me? Being around for my kids. Do you know what's worth it to me? You know, extending my life. With every ounce that I lose, I'm giving myself a better chance of living longer. That, to me, is worth it over anything. No matter how good it tastes, how much I want it at that given point in time, is it worth it? No. It's not. Life is worth it. Is Slimming World easy? No. Is it going to be hard? Yeah, you sure it is. It's going to be really hard. But is the payoff going to be worth it? You're damn right. And that's why don't let this program eat you up. Don't let this program eat away and tell you you can't do it. You can. You need to believe that you can do it. Just erase that program from your mind and concentrate on the people on Slimming World that have lost weight, have kept it off, and are the inspiration and the motivation that you need. There are plenty of people. You don't have to look far on, on, on social media to find people. Just Julie, Julie Mullins, lost like eight something, nine stone. Uh, Debbie, uh, Debbie SW's lost like, I think, seven and a half, eight stone now. Uh, there's a guy called uh, Dean who's a Slimming World consultant who's lost like 11 stone. There, you know, there's plenty of people out there that have lost enormous amounts of weight that are you know, great inspiration, great motivation and are living proof that you can. If they can, you can. Steve Jobs said, the whole world was built by people that are no smarter than you. That's it right there. There's no difference that everybody else has gone and done this before you. 
Everyone else has got access to the same tools, the same food, the same supermarkets. No one's got any advantage on Slimming World over you. We all use the same book. We all use the same sins. We're all eating roughly the same food. What makes people successful is choices. People make choices. And I've got to believe that that program, for people to put the weight back on, they made the wrong choices. Like I said, there's definitely a backstory, and I wish Channel 4 would have showed more of it. Listen, I don't want this to turn into some huge, big tirade rant about this, but it did really, you know, I, I just had to make this video because I just, you know, didn't want people really getting so deflated that they wanted to give in. So, so please, please, not for me, for you, don't give in. I say the words all the time on every Instagram post, it's always hashtag never quit. And please, don't quit on yourselves. Life's worth more than that. Don't let one program derail you. You can do it, we can all do it. Just say those words yourself. I can, I will, it's possible. And if you believe it's possible for yourself, you're gonna do it. Be nice to each other people. Life is always worth living. And until I see you again, see ya.